I'm an adventurer. Now, these pocket bikes are very small. I could easily hold it. We went around America on a motorcycle, so people would ask us, what are you guys doing? And then I would say, you know, I'm setting a world record. I was a very bubbly kid. I was very out there. I was very expressive. I was loud. I just was always seeking something. I never felt kind of at, at ease. I was definitely the, the odd one out, and I felt like I was kind of the black sheep of the family. The bruises, they left, but what I heard is something that echoed in my head. I felt like it was made very clear that I did not belong and that I was, I was better off just, just dead or, or somewhere else. A part of me just wanted to be normal and I wanted to be accepted, which is, is why I chose the path of you know, having my family and starting you know, the typical household, following the typical rules of getting an education, getting children, making a family. And I just felt that there was something missing there. I wasn't being true to myself. So I started at the university uh, studying leisure studies. And then there was this course that came up that was optional. You had to apply to go to Finland for an adventure course. And I decided, you know, what? why not? Why not apply for this course? And I just felt at home. I felt more at home in Finland than in my apartment back in Reykjavik. To me, that just rang a bell in my head that there, I need to make some changes. A few months after, I made a very big and scary decision. I ended my relationship. I became a single mother. I decided to apply for this trip to Romania. I joined this circus project there. I was performing for all kinds of people, and even though I had no experience coming into this, people were just amazed. I needed to see the world, not for the world itself, but for the people, for the different culture. I had never been to Ireland, so I just booked a trip and was there the day after. I found a couch to sleep on, people to hang out with, and I could come back home and meet up with my kids and tell them what I'd been doing, and they would be so inspired. I did get my glacier guiding license and my bus driver license. That's not my thing to be a bus driver, but when I could use the driving a bus to transfer me and my group to the glacier to have my glacier adventure, then it's a fair game, then it's, then it's good. have a passion, you should always seek it. That's the one thing that people regret, you know, not doing it. And if not now, then when? There isn't gonna be the perfect time. The worst thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna return to your lawyer job that you're in right now. So the worst case scenario is nothing changes. The best is that the whole world is out there. So take that chance, go for it.